What is going on guys? My name is Professor Nigel and today we're going to be looking at three Vanguard SMG setups. Now I'm kind of bringing back a series that I had with Dirty Bomb in Black Ops Cold War where I wasn't so much focused on the gameplay or showing off a gameplay where I'm actually using the gun. Uh, although I think that's very nice, uh, I think a lot of people are short on time and would much rather just have some class setups that they can try uh, rather than watching a whole 16 minute video on the gameplay. Um, now, granted, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and I will definitely still be having videos like that, uh, so definitely stay tuned, but for right now, I'm going to run through three Vanguard guns, three SMG setups for Vanguard guns. Uh, that I think you guys will really like using. Now, these aren't going to be centered around any sort of special scenario. Uh, they're going to be the builds that I think are great just for, uh, you know, all-around use. Uh, they're definitely not hip-fire builds or uh, specifically low recoil, although I think a lot of them tend to be on the low recoil side. Uh, that's just more so my play style. So, um, if you want to make some slight alterations, I will definitely talk you through a little bit on each of the setups. Uh, but if you're just looking for a good all-around build, um, you can use the chapter feature right on the bottom uh, and in the description to filter through on whichever one you want. So I've got the Owen gun, the PPSH, and the MP40. Uh, and right at the beginning of each of those time clips, I'll show you um, just the very basic SMG setup before I kind of talk you through. So if you want more of a talk through, you can stick around for that. If not, you can go ahead, skip to that part in the video, and look at the all-around class setup uh, that I think is really best for these SMGs. So let's get into it. So the first SMG I have for you guys is the Owen gun, and I think this is the best all-round setup. Now again, just a disclaimer, all of these setups uh, like I said in my little intro, is going to be the best all-round setup. So for me, that for the most part means controlling recoil while also offering the best damage uh, that you can get out of it. But again, for me, I'm going to always be prioritizing the recoil because if I can't hit anything, if the recoil is too much, for me, it's just not going to be a good gun. So uh, disclaimer, a lot of these guns are going to be focused on offering super low recoil, so if you want to also take this as a low recoil uh, setup for these SMGs, uh, it'll pretty much uh, apply for the most part. I, I don't think you can make a lot of these any more lower recoil than they already are. Um, however, another disclaimer, uh, there's going to be a lot of reoccurring attachments, so I'm going to save you time and just walk through the attachments. Uh, that change or that you can change uh, if you want to and then I'll quickly glaze over some of the other attachments uh, that you can use if you haven't already unlocked the attachments. For the most part, the recoil booster, the slate reflector, and the stock that offers the most recoil control, in this case it's the H4 folding, uh, is going to be what I'm going with. Um, as you can see, this prioritizes uh, the recoil. Uh, and I think it's the best thing for the Owen gun. The Owen gun, unlike some of the other SMGs, I think has a lot of recoil. Uh, definitely way more so than the MP40. Granted, the MP40 has like no recoil anyway. Uh, but also, I think it has more than the PPSH, the uh, Thompson, and any of the other SMGs. Uh, but with the right attachments, it's a very, very fun gun to use, and it's super high damage. So let's quickly run through the attachments. If you don't have the recoil booster unlocked, you can definitely try out the F8 stabilizer. That helps with your accuracy and the damage range. And if you want to, you can play around with any of the other attachments. The strife compensator comes to mind, definitely the 1929 silencer I would use. Uh, personally, I don't really care too much about silencers. I used to only care about that for, uh, you know, other sets of guns like the Modern Warfare uh, guns for Warzone and stuff like that. But for me, for some reason, it hasn't been as much of a priority. Um, so definitely for me, if you don't have the recoil booster, probably the F8 stabilizer. Uh, but if you want to try a silencer instead of the recoil booster, I think it's the 1929. The biggest topic that changes with the Owen gun, especially in other class setups, is the barrel. The barrel you can really play around with, and I've used all three of these barrels. Personally, right now, I really love using the 305 millimeter precision barrel. It makes it so much more controllable, and although it takes away from the body damage, uh, I'm pretty much mainly going for the head anyway, so uh, worse comes to worse, I get the reduced body damage, 
best case scenario, I'm getting the extra headshot multiplier, uh, and really I think the most important part is that it makes the Owen gun a lot more controllable. You can definitely go ahead and try out the 142 millimeter, especially if you don't have the 305 unlocked. I was using this before I had the 305 millimeter unlocked, and I think it's still a great, great option. Uh, personally, I think the barrel that I liked the least was the 188 millimeter, even though it helped with limb damage. Uh, there was a big fall off uh, at long range, and I personally didn't like that. Uh, I'd rather either, either have the high fire rate or it be super accurate and controllable. But again, this changes and is very up to your preference. So by all means, try all of the barrels. This is the one thing that you can really play around with uh, on the Owen gun. Uh, and again, it, it's really just going to be on a person-by-person -person basis, so try them all out. The underbarrel and the rear grip are super easy attachments to unlock. I've got the Carver 4 grip and the rubber grip, and those are really just helping recoil. If you want to change those up to prioritize something else, by all means, go for it. Uh, personally, I like prioritizing that recoil control. A similar message with the magazine, I'm using the 7.6272 round drum, and this helps the recoil control and the accuracy, and also helps your fire rate, uh, which I think is really, really nice. I haven't tried it, but if you want to play around with it, if for some reason you don't like the 72 round 7.62, by all means, try out the 8mm 60 round. Again, I haven't tried it, mainly because as you can see, it really brings down the recoil control, and I just don't think it's worth it. Uh, but I think that's pretty much the only magazine that I would try other than the 7.62. Uh, these other two really get in the way in terms of when you're looking down your sight. Uh, they're just kind of an eyesore. Uh, and this one doesn't really help anything other than the magazine capacity. Um, so again, I really think it's either the 7.62, 72, uh, or if you really want to be uh, trying it, the 60 round. For me, I've been using Lengthened, uh, and this is something that I've kind of gone back and forth on, and kind of like the barrel, it's going to come down to preference. I like Lengthened because it gives me a little bit more range, and I like getting a little bit more range out of my SMGs. Uh, again, Incendiary, though, up close and personal, is very, very effective, and sometimes it can really save you. Getting that little bit of extra damage to down or kill someone is sometimes super important, and the Incendiary can do that. However, it does take away from the damage range. Uh, again, though, ammunition across all of the SMGs, whether it's lengthened or incendiary, it's going to come down to your preference, so try out either one. Uh, for me, I personally like using lengthened. That is my own gun setup. Let's get into the MP40. So this is my MP40 setup. Now, I say my, but I'm going to be honest, I'm sure there's very similar setups out there already, uh, and if there isn't, they're pretty damn near close. I think I've seen a similar setup that the only thing changed from this was the recoil booster uh, and the ammunition being lengthened instead of incendiary. Personally, for me, I like the recoil booster over the suppressor, which I think the other class setup had. Uh, the increased fire rate makes it so you can outgun pretty much anything, and that's why I have it on all of my SMGs. That increased fire rate really, I think, makes a difference a lot of the times, uh, and it really can make the difference versus other SMGs as well. Uh, so, again, I don't think there's really much you can change here. Pretty much all of these attachments are early on, minus the recoil booster, but again, the same thing applies to the Owen gun. If you don't have the recoil booster, you can definitely try out the F8 stabilizer, the suppressor, or the strife compensator uh, but again the same themes are running through with this mp40 that i had with the owen gun uh, the re recoil control uh, stock and for the most part i'm running very similar things i'm prioritizing ads with the fabric grip instead of recoil control uh, because with the current attachments and the fact that the mp40 already is practically zero recoil. Uh, I don't think you need that much in the way of recoil control. If you really want this thing to be zero recoil, you can change this to the Carver 4 grip. Uh, change this to either the stippled grip or the pine tar grip. Um, but again, I don't think it really needs it, which is why I changed the rear grip and the under barrel to prioritize some other things like the ADS uh, and for the under or the strife angled. Uh, let's prioritize the uh, accuracy. In terms of the ammunition, this one I would absolutely recommend the incendiary. It saved me many times. 
Uh, and again, it will come down to preference, so if you want to throw lengthened on there, by all means, go for it. Uh, the MP40 doesn't have a huge drop-off at range uh, by itself, so even throwing on the incendiary really doesn't hurt the range too much, uh, like some of the other SMGs where I think it becomes a little bit more noticeable, um, so that's why I like using incendiary over lengthened. For the magazine, I think having the most amount of ammo and the 64 round drum is the best thing that you can have. Uh, I don't think you need the 45 round mag for the extra recoil control. It just simply doesn't need it. Uh, again, if you wanted to create some sort of literal zero recoil thing that you could maybe beam people across the map with, uh, I think it'd be interesting to try out. Uh, but I think it'd probably at that point literally be like a pea shooter. I mean, this thing... Uh, the, the 45 rounds take away from the damage as well as the range, so I, I don't think it's worth sacrificing that for more recoil control when it just doesn't need it. Um, so again, 64 round mag, uh, that's the way to go. That is the MP40 setup. Again, I pretty much just recommend copying this right here. Uh, I think this is the best setup that you can possibly use on the MP40 period uh, and maybe down the line there will be some changes or or a different class setup that prioritizes something else but this is a great all-round mp40 class and it absolutely dominates and i highly recommend if there's an smg that you try it's this one right here the third and final smg is the ppsh now similar to the owen gun the ppsh has a little bit more to take into account uh, there's definitely a lot more recoil than the MP40. Uh, obviously, the MP40 is just kind of the outlier in this entire situation because the thing's already a beast. Um, so, of course, all the other SMGs, there's going to be more to talk about. The PPSH, uh, similar to the Owen gun with the initial firing recoil and just oh, the overall recoil control of the Owen gun, the PPSH definitely struggles a little bit at range with the recoil as well as the aiming stability. I think the aiming stability is the biggest thing that trips people up. Uh, and there's definitely a lot of attachments that you can play around with, namely the rear grip and the under barrel that you can go and change to kind of combat this. Uh, quickly, we will glaze over what is the same if uh, you didn't watch the uh, Owen gun or the MP40 class setup uh, all the way through, and you've just skipped to the PPSH, just to go over it one more time. <laughs> the recoil booster the slate reflector and the stock that controls the recoil the most uh, as well as the perk that helps with the recoil and fully loaded are pretty much staples throughout all of these um, the same thing with the ammunition lengthened and incendiary are the two that i recommend it really comes down to a preference either one works great for the smgs personally if you want a little bit more of a longer range you go for lengthened and if you want something more up close and personal the incendiary really sometimes makes the difference uh, other than that the barrel I really would recommend the Zac 300 millimeter. You can try the Empress 140 millimeter. Again, this is similar to the Owen gun where you can play around with the barrel a little bit more, but I think it's more so between these two. Uh, the first two, unless you want to go for a hip fire build with the second one, um, I don't really see a use for this first one. Uh, if you don't have the 300 millimeter unlocked, it's definitely the 140 millimeter. Now, in terms of combating the kind of aiming stability and the issue there. Uh, the leather grip for me, I don't have too much of an issue with it, but I did put on uh, this leather grip that helps the ADS and the aiming stability. There are other attachments such as this taped grip that does help the aiming stability a little bit more. Uh, I liked having a little bit more of an ADS. Uh, up close and personal, this PPSH, the fire rate will pretty much outgun most other guns, even other SMGs. Uh, even the MP40, even the Owen gun. So I think that is what gives the PPSH the upper hand. You kind of pay for that a little bit at range though. It's a lot harder to take people out uh, over 50 meters roughly. Um, so definitely I, I think the thing that pains me the most is the aiming stability. Um, to help with the recoil, I'm using the hand stop. You can of course use the Carver foregrip. The, this is one thing that I think is a common theme with any of the guns that I didn't really mention. The hand stop and the carver foregrip pretty much seem to do the same thing, except for the fact that instead of uh, the hip fire accuracy, the hand stop just helps the regular accuracy and it decreases your hip fire accuracy while the carver foregrip uh, kind of hurts your ADS speed. I don't really know if there's a difference. I feel in my head that the carver foregrip is a little bit better for control. 
uh, which is why I've pretty much been using it instead of the hand stop, but a lot of people love using the hand stop. So let me know down in the comments if you really notice a difference. I personally usually prefer the Carver foregrip, uh, but I've been using the hand stop on the PPSH and it for the most part works fine. Again, similar to the Owen gun, but I think there's a little bit more to play around with the magazine on the PPSH. You can definitely go back and forth between the 8mm recoil control and the 7.62 that just really prioritizes your magazine capacity. Uh, I've used both and I can't really tell too much of a difference. I definitely think there's a little bit more of a recoil and control. So if you're using this 7.62 round and you think you still need a little bit more of a recoil control, this first one I definitely recommend. Other than that, uh, I, I don't think either of these last two magazines have enough ammo for Warzone. Um, I think maybe if you wanted to go for a super high damage uh, PPSH class setup, you could try the 30 Russian short 35 round uh, mag, but I really think it's pretty much between these first two magazines. Uh, for a good all-round PPSH class setup. That is the PPSH class setup that I have for you guys. Let me know down in the comments for any of these class setups if you would change anything, if you recommend any changes that I missed or didn't mention. Again, these are all pretty much prioritizing all-round SMG class setups. So obviously there's going to be better attachments if you want to make hipfire classes for any of these setups or if there's a super high damage setup for any of these SMGs. Uh, again, Further down the line, I think I will have some setups talking about those uh, kinds of class setups. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button if this helped you out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Also, if you have setups that you would like to recommend, by all means, I would love to showcase some class setups that people have found, uh, and it would be a great help if you left that down in the comments. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.